Hi everyone, we're just on our uh, daily dog walk with Frank. Um, we're trying somewhere new today. So hopefully, we struggled um, actually to find this place because we've not been before. Um, and it's by Into the Wild Bushcraft. We've heard lots about it by other small independent businesses um, in and around Altrincham. Um, everyone's singing its praises. It's a bit like Riverbank Coffee, apparently, um, which is on the River Mersey, um, a walk on the River Mersey. Um, and I think it's the Shack trailer, or I'll, I'll put all the full details on in a minute for you, um, rather than just rambling and guessing as to the, uh, the proper name of the coffee trailer. But yeah, so I'm gonna try and document how to get here. So we think it's this way, um, in fact yeah, just realised that's a private driveway up that way. Um, so yeah, this is continuing the footpath at the bottom of that really, really nice cobbled walk. And we're just passing alongside a field now. If you fall now, don't worry, I've got you on camera. You might get some money out of it. Don't be assuring. 
please fall, please fall. All right, here we go. We've got big Rottweiler, medium sized dog, and slightly smaller dog. Which one do you think is gonna bark first? Mine wins not the smallest. How about that? That was three perfectly well behaved dogs. Oh, thank you. Cheers, lovely. I know. <laughs> oh, that's good. Gareth just said. We're definitely going in the right direction um, because when he sent a text message and um, the text message did mention that we need to go over the footbridge. Put him in his place. <laughs> Say where from here then? Um, we follow this path. Did you mention anything over a field? Um, right, so there's a little car parking area there. So if you're not up for such a long walk, um, we're outside Rycroft Farm. So we'll try and find if you are, um, if you do struggle with walking, we'll try and pin that location. Um, so you could possibly use your blue badges. So we think it's in the woodland over this field. And by the looks of it, there's other people in that field over there. So they could possibly be taking a little bit of a off-road um, route. Are we doing the typical man thing and not asking people have you seen it? Yeah. <laughs> Be it's a bit like reading the instructions, isn't it? Why well, read the instructions when you can just guess? So much more. Oh, in fact, yeah. I can see fairy lights in the distance from here in the woods. There we go. So I reckon it is there. So not long left now. I think days like today are the perfect weather for walking. It's not too warm, you can still put your coat on, 
fetch your hat with you just in case it gets a little bit chilly but the nice crisp fresh air just definitely wakens you up a little bit more doesn't it and <laughs> makes you feel alive you sound like a woman from Miss Congeniality what's your favourite date? April 25th because <laughs> it's not too warm and it's not too cold all you need is a light jacket <laughs> there you go mine is a the... terrible American accent I apologise for that I know, you could at least try doing it in a, a higher pitch voice, a bit more uh. sort of like, <laughs> rather than your own high pitch voice. Hello, Baba. Hello. <laughs> oh, Frank's going to start this one, I think. Oh, uh, really? Oh. It's a bit like him. <laughs> he hates it when he's on his lead. I think he just wants to be off his lead and run wild with them. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> See you later. So yeah, we've walked from that direction and we've walked around the field. I think we're just coming up to the first sign now, possibly. Yeah. So yeah, into the wild. Um, bushcraft sign up on the tree. So, word of mouth really, um, for reviews of this place, spread like wildfire. So this is awesome. This is what our walks normally consist of. Um, we've got such a, gr a great local walk um, at Wibbenshaw Park. And they've got a little coffee shop that's open in one of their barn buildings. And there's so many derelict buildings um, on council land. It would be great to see more places like this just popping up and making use of the woodland and it just gives you that little pit stop destination makes you walk that little bit more enjoyable you're not just walking the dog and taking in fresh air but with no sort of like final destination at least here you've got somewhere that we're going to and hopefully they have cake <laughs> <laughs> There's no worrying about coming into close contact with people. You've got plenty of space to avoid each other. You've got the uh, the wooden whiskey barrels over there as well to use as little makeshift standing tables. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely idyllic, really. And what I like as well is uh, they keep putting updates as to what area we're in. So they really, um, looking after the local community as well, making sure that the visitors that are coming are aware of the tier situation. Oh, I think it'd be rude once we've got to support local business, aren't we? So yeah, I think we'd better go for a cake as well, yeah. I've got a Belgian chocolate shortbread or white chocolate raspberry latte. I'll go for the same if you've got two, yeah. Cheers. Uh, oh, down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Three muffins there nearly. <laughs> Are you? And here we are. We've got our coffees and cake. Uh, nice little reward at the, uh, the halfway point of the walk. <laughs> 